Hey guys, this is Priyanka. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to calculate the distance between your current location and the destination using the distance between method of location class. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the directions API to get the distance and the duration to reach the destination. So open the maps activity.java file. I have already removed the code from the case r.id.b2 so remove it and then write or you can just create a separate project and then copy all the contents and then edit it then here I'm going to copy the code from B school so first I'm going to create the data transfer object And then for the URL, instead of using the get URL, I'm going to create a different method, get directions URL. And then I'm not going to pass anything here. And then I'm going to create another class. So let's create it. Create a new Java class and name it get directions data. And then I'm going to create an object of that class here just like we created an object of get nearby places data here so write get directions data get directions data equals new get directions data and then write data transfer of 0 equals m map and data transfer of 1 equals url and then get directions data dot execute just like we did here and then pass data transfer here and then break don't forget to add break here then in the get directions data class you can see that in the get nearby places data class we are extending it with async task and it is holding object string and string as parameters so it will be same red extends async task and pass object string and string and click alt enter and click on implement methods and ok then do in background method will get added here and we are going to create three class variables here the first is google map map string url it will be same as we did in the get nearby places data class and the third string will be google directions data google directions data and to import this class click alt enter import class then remove this return null statement from doing background method and you can copy the code from here and paste it here just replace this with directions and here we were setting mmap and url and then we, are, we were creating the object of download url class and then we were reading it so it will be exactly same then we need to create the on post execute method so you can copy it from here and paste it here then we don't need this so I'll just keep it here so that you'll see that it is very similar instead of list of hash map we need hash map so write hash map string string and here I'll write directions list equals null then data parser parser equals new data parser and then I'm going to create a separate method parse directions 
so we are going to call that method and pass this s string here so write directions list equals parser dot parse directions and pass s here that's it and remove this from here now we can create this method so open the data parser class and here you can write public and make sure that it is public it shouldn't be private and it is returning a hash map so write hash map string string parse directions and it will take string so write string json data and the first two statements will be as it is so you can copy them from here and then the next statement will also be same you can copy it from here and there is an unhandled exception so click alt enter and click surround with try catch and after this statement write json array equals json object dot get json array and here instead of results we need routes so open your browser and type directions api android and click on the first link so here you'll need to create a key we'll do it later first i'm going to explain this so scroll down and you'll see this url so we are going to use this url for directions which is maps.googleapis.com slash maps slash api slash directions slash output format question mark parameters so for the output format again we are going to use json and for the parameters there are three required parameters which are origin destination and key and there are some optional parameters as well which are mode waypoints alternatives avoid in the mode it is setting the travel mode so by default it is driving if you don't set it the other modes are cycling walking etc avoid is for avoiding tolls or highways or ferries or indoor and there are many more optional parameters that you can set but i'm not going to use any of the optional parameters i'm just going to use the three required parameters and after that you can check these out these are example directions request and if you scroll down more you will find this which is the response json response so here you can see that there is a routes array in the json object and then in the routes array so you can see that this determines that it is an array the square bracket and this is an object the curly bracket inside the routes array there is a legs array and inside the legs json array there is a json object called duration and inside that object there is a text value which is a string value and also there is a json object called distance and there is a string value which is text so we needed these two values we'll fetch the routes here and then we'll work on the other data in the other method that we are going to create so here it is returning it to get places json array so for that we are going to write return get duration json array and we are going to create this method here the get duration method will be similar to the get place method so i'll create it here so you'll be able to see the resemblance so write private hash map again it will return hash map string string get duration and we are passing json array here which is google i'll write google direction then we are going to create an object of hash map so write hash map string string google directions map equals new hash map and then we need three parameters origin destination and key and we are fetching just two values which is duration and distance so we just need to set two values here duration 
and distance so set both the strings to empty string initially first i want to check what it returns what is the response so i'm going to write log d and here json response and google directions json dot to string since it returns the hash map i'm going to write return google directions map just that it won't give any error and in the maps activity we need to create the get directions url method so i'm going to create that here so write private string get directions url and we are not passing anything here because all we need is the from latitude from longitude and latitude and end longitude which is already there here so latitude longitude and end latitude and end longitude so we'll use those four variables here so write string builder google directions url equals new string builder and here we need to pass this string so just scroll up again and this is the string that we need just copy it till here and paste it and then after that write json question mark and make sure that it is https then we are going to append the origin the destination and the key so write google directions url dot append origin equals so for this there are three ways to write it you can write the address in this way or the latitude and longitude values or the place id since we have the latitude and longitude values we are going to use them and make sure that there is no space in between so write latitude and longitude these will be the sources latitude and longitude values and then write google directions url dot append here we are going to write and first so from the second um, parameter onwards we need to insert and first equals here we'll pass end latitude and end longitude then we'll pass the key and key equals go to the browser again and click on get a key and you can select the project and click on enable api and copy that key i have already done that so i'll just copy it from here and paste it here then you can return this so write return google directions url dot to string so all the errors are gone and i'm going to run it because I, I need to check the format of json response so i'll just connect my phone and i'm going to open the android monitor to check the response and click run so as you can see in the log cat so this is the json response so we need to find the routes array first so here is the routes array and then this is a legs array inside the routes array and this is the distance and this is the duration so go to the parse directions method and here write dot get json object pass zero as the index dot get json array and pass legs so this will give us legs array and then we'll pass that array here so after this go to the get duration method and here we are going to get the duration like this duration equals google directions json dot get json object and pass zero as the index then get json object and pass duration dot get string 
and pass text and for the distance we are going to copy the same thing and paste it but before that i am going to click alt enter and click on surround with try catch and then copy this statement and paste it here and write distance and distance here then we are going to put these two values in the hash map so write google directions map dot put duration in double quotes comma duration and google directions map dot put distance in double quotes and distance and then we are returning this hash map now go back to the get directions data class and here we are calling this method and getting the hash map in the directions list and what i'm going to do is i'm going to fetch the values of duration and distance and i'm going to create two class variables for that so here write string duration and distance so write duration equals directions list dot get and pass duration in double quotes and distance equals directions list dot get distance in double quotes now go back to the maps activity dot java file and here we need to send the latitude and longitude values of the destination I'm really sorry about my voice. I'm really sick, but I wanted to make this video as soon as possible for you guys. So we are going to send the latitude and longitude values of the destination. So write data transfer to equals new lat line and pass the end latitude and end longitude values. And as we are sending three values here, we need to change the size of the array as well from two to three. Then go back to the get directions data dot Java file. And here, first we have to clear the map. So write m map dot clear. Then we need to set the marker at the destination with the duration and distance in the info box. So we need to create the marker. For that we need marker options so write marker options marker options equals new marker options and we need to fetch the values of n latitude and n longitude so here we'll create a latlang object and we'll set it here so write latlang equals objects three sorry two and we need to typecast it and then we can access it here so write marker options dot position and pass the lat lang object marker options dot draggable true marker options dot title i'm going to set the title as duration equals duration and I'm going to set the snippet as distance equals distance after this we need to add the marker to the map so write m map dot add marker and pass marker options here now we can run and test it so click on the run button so as you can see the marker is at your current location now just click on the marker and then drag it to whatever position you want to set as a destination and then click on to button and then click on the marker so it will display the duration and the distance so that's it for today i hope you like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and give it a big thumbs up. Bye.